Hello ambitious business owners, um, happy morning, happy Tuesday morning, um, welcome to my weekly live, I'm Susie Campbell, founder of Hollabaloo PR and uh, founder of this tribe. So um, welcome, today I just wanted to talk about, um, obviously with all the restrictions and everybody working online, um, a bit of a reminder of what is it you could do online that perhaps you didn't do before or maybe you didn't do as much of it. Um, some businesses have had to close um, their normal operating. And rather than close completely, I'm urging businesses to consider what they could do online. Um, I recently had a, a chat with a photographer, for example, who um, is a member of this tribe and does personal branding shoots. And she can't do those at the moment because her makeup artists can't work. Um, and her hairdressers can't um, can't work and it was just too difficult to work around the restrictions. So I suggested to her that she could run a sort of seven day challenge, um, helping her customers to prepare for a branding shoot. What is it they need to do looking at their branding so that when the restrictions lift, they're ready to book a shoot with her because they've done all the prep work. She's not had to coach them through that, which she normally would have to. Um, all at her own expense whereas now she could create a little online challenge she could charge a small amount of money for it sort of 30 40 dollars to um to get people on it but at the end is the promise of having all their branding shoot prep work ready to go um to book in a shoot and there could be an incentive for them to book in a shoot with her once they take part in the challenge so that would be com something completely different um something that the photographer hasn't done before now all businesses are in different situations some are still operating some are op operating in a reduced way and as i say others have had to shut completely what they're doing um, i read recently of a lovely story of a um, a hairdresser who was teaching people how to cut their children's hair online this was in the uk where um, hairdressers weren't allowed to operate at all um, but there's lots of different ways that you can create an online offer it might be an ebook it might be an online course it might be a webinar um, you know there's lots of things that you can teach to your clients even if you didn't teach it before um, that you can now offer to them to at least be doing something but the main thing is it's actually connecting you with customers and maybe attracting new ones ready for when the restrictions lift so don't see this time as I've got to stop everything think about what you could be doing yes you may not be earning as much as you were I totally understand that that's really hard but use this time to keep doing something and moving forward because it may be that you use these online offers afterwards and they just add to your um, business because they're already set up and it's almost like a second passive income. So um, if anyone's got any questions, do post in the comment box. I'm always happy to help with ideas if uh, you know, you're know you a particular type of business and you can't think um, you know what you could teach. Well, that reminds me, I was chatting to an accountant last week and um, gave her some ideas of what she could do um, to again attract some clients at the moment um, during this time when she can't operate in the same way she was and go to her office. So always happy to share ideas. Shout in the comments box if you've got any questions and keep thinking guys, keep thinking creatively, keep looking at what you can do, don't focus on what you can't, things that you can't change, just let it go. You can't change it. Let's focus on what you can do. Um, look forward to hearing from you guys soon. Take care, everybody.